It was about a year ago I showed you what I was using on my Nexus 6P at the time, so I thought it's probably about time I updated you on my current Android setup, this time on the Google Pixel. Welcome back to Byte Review. This is my Android setup 2017. Let's get started with the home launcher. Despite actually enjoying the Pixel launcher, there were still some things I wasn't too keen on about it, enough so that I'm actually using Nova Launcher on my Pixel. The main reason being the inconsistency with the app icons and the fact you can't change that ever-present Google Pill type widget at the top, so for me Nova is still a bit of an essential. I also use it to remove Google Now from the left hand side as I find myself never using it, I don't have to drive to work and I check other apps for news and stuff so I never really found a decent use for Google Now, although for some of you I'm sure it's a really good tool. I am a big fan of the swipe up to access the app drawer so I've kept that in there along with the vertical scrolling. The icon pack I'm using is called Delta, and I think it matches the wallpaper I've got going on pretty well. Like I said, the Pixel Launcher annoyed me a little bit with rounding some icons and not all of them, and popping on another icon pack generally solves this. Some of my favourite icon packs are Moonshine, Candy Cons, and the Hollow icon pack. I'm still making use of apps in rows on my second page here, which I kind of organised in terms of how much I use them, but I've cut down from a full page which I used to have on my old setup to two rows that I use the most. This keeps the page way less cluttered and I found it makes me quicker at using the phone in general. Going through those apps very quickly, uh, YouTube for watching anything and everything, YouTube Studio I'm still using to see all of your lovely comments and it shows how much money you're making from YouTube as well, or in my case how little you're making. Photos by Google I prefer over any other gallery style app as it backs them all up for free as well. Uh, if you're on a pixel like me that also gives you unlimited backups which is pretty cool. Instagram and Chrome go without saying really. Imga, think picture book version of Reddit, uh, which I'm still addicted to for my daily goof. Snapchat which I've actually started using a little bit more. If you fancy a follow it's at Teddy Hitch. And of course I've still got the necessary evils of Facebook and Messenger. For storage, I'm still using OneDrive as I got one terabyte on there for free uh, from a Samsung phone, I think, from a while back. The most important of the bunch are always in the taskbar. Twitter, which is the most preferred social network, you can find me on there at Byte Review. Gmail for all things email, camera, WhatsApp for all messaging, and finally Spotify, which I moved over to from Google Play Music. In terms of widgets, I'm still rocking the Zupa widget, which I actually ended up paying for in the end so I could access loads of different clock faces. At the moment I'm using the Fox for Zupa app, which gives you a load of cool looking ones for free, including this one. There's a bunch on the Play Store you can get for free, so it's definitely worth looking around for a pack that suits you if you're into that sort of app. Pushing to the far right, I've got Today Calendar still on the go. Really love this widget, it gives you an up-to-date glance on all your calendar appointments and it makes it super easy to add things to. You can also customise it so it looks how you want, but I've always been pretty happy with the transparent kind of glass look. It's a free app, but you can pay to get some extra features if you need them. Finally, I'm using a photo I took in Hong Kong as my wallpaper. If you like it, I'll pop it in a link below so you can grab it too. So that covers my Android setup for 2017. I'll link all of the widgets and icon packs below if you're interested in getting this kind of look yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments or give us any suggestions on different widgets or apps. I do love finding new looks so any advice would be great. Thanks for watching this video, pop a like if you enjoyed it and I will hopefully see you all in the next one.